So the throttle body is connected to a plastic intake manifold, um, which has gone to the air intake. So I'm just wanting to check with the continuity um, to ground on the chassis. So that's my ground. I'll just check the resistance. Two mega ohm. I can see it's dropping. So I wonder whether the theory behind this uh, throttle body to ground gives it gets rid of this parasitic resistance because it is electronic electronic uh, throttle control. So we'll go get a wire and ground from this bolt to the chassis. See if there's any uh, valid, uh, noticeable difference in throttle response. After I drive, I'm just going to test. So yeah, so it's not as high as 2 mega ohms, but it's still 1 mega ohms and dropping when I'm connected to the chassis ground. So maybe there is some truth. Maybe there's some truth to this uh, throttle body ground, or at least uh, you know, some sort of uh, way to debunk. Alright, let's uh, wire this up and see if we notice anything. What I will do is I'll get my wife to drive this after just to see if it passes the wife test. Um, that should be pretty interesting. The one is attached to the cable. As you can see here. I've just routed it through, don't know if you can see, it's quite dark, just routed it, just to chassis ground, this is where the battery terminal connects to as well, takes about 5 minutes to do, ok now to test it, we're going to with continuity, it's, uh, the, sh the throttle body has now been grounded, and let's see how accurate this fluke meter is. Yep, so you can see it's pretty much quick path. So let's see if this there's any noticeable throttle response and debunk this uh, myth of uh, the throttle body ground mod.
very subtle. <laughs> so I'm not even changing gears, but uh, you can flip it a little bit and it, it reacts pretty much straight away. done something to the car. Do you notice anything different? No. Not at all? No. 